All right, let's try head coach NFL math. Oh, we got to change it to 256 colors first. All right, easy done. <laughs> Excuse me, easy done. We can do that. Um, so back to, still want 640 by 480. I've sort of kept it at that for these videos just because the up the resolution that usually just makes everything smaller. Just want to sort of have it as big as we can. All right, NFL math, here we go. And that is, oh, there's like a little animated thing. I don't remember this from last time. Yeah, there's some good MIDI. Lights, camera, football. Yeah, so like I said, go back and watch the um, NFL reading if you hadn't seen it, but I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun last time. And hopefully this will be just as good. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know when this came out, like which one came first, whether they improved on anything, but um, yeah, looking forward to this. Um, oh, there's a pro pack for the questions. Yeah, hopefully the trivia thing might actually work this time around. And this was two player. I didn't real legit didn't realize this was two player. That's got potential. Um, we'll make it level two. I had trouble with level three reading because I'm a dumbass. Um, we'll do a single game. Hang on, we have, yeah, we want 15 minute quarters. Um, what was Coach's Corner? Ah. Oh, okay, so this is like all the math related stuff it's covering as part of the question. So what have we got? Averages, decimals, estimation, fractions, percents, place value, primes and composites, rounding numbers, date and time, geometry, well, geometry is math related, isn't it? Distance and length, height and weight, money. Money. Oh, there's if little animated things game, for these. You're okay. Gonna need some. Money pays for the tickets. It pays for the parking. Are we going to get a mini game where we have to like to pay for our snacks. overpriced um, hot dogs? Working with money yeah. is like working <laughs> with money. That's the price of the hot dog. Company. All you have to do is keep track of the decimal point. Oh. Let's say a stadium charges $1.25 for a soda. How much will it cost to buy two drinks? To add money, just line up the decimal points. Not quite two, three feet, like but it's close. two sodas at this stadium would cost $2.50. It works the same way when you subtract. Say you have a $20 bill and you buy two sodas. Subtract the cost. Well, this is good. This is going to be giving an actual like math explanation. And you should get $17.50 back and change. And this is a bit more now involved than what I was expecting. Time. I was ex and you go expecting buy hot like dogs a text for you and your two friends. Each hot dog costs two dollars twenty-five cents. How many hot dogs can you eat, Jimmy? By three to find out how much it will cost. <laughs> to multiply. Oh no! What was the main? Why did you buy two winners or something like to that? The right of the decimal point. So three hot dogs cost six dollars seventy-five cents. How yeah. about dividing money? Same thing. Oh, they going through every Remember, aspect there of are it. Always That's cool. Two digits to the right of the decimal point. If you and your two friends each wanted a pennant and a T-shirt. Each friend might give you their money. So <laughs> this you will can go cost you them. at least one hundred and fifty dollars. If you came back with one dollar thirty-five cents money. change, how much change would You're each of you get back? You're off screen as well, Cat. Let's one dollar thirty-five on cents divided by three friends is forty-five cents this is each. Valuable. Sometimes it doesn't mm -hmm. work out that smoothly. He was sick of sleeping. What if you came back yet? to your friends with one dollar eighty-five like, cents yeah. change? Cold weather has been helping with that. Um, divided by three is not a whole number. We've kind of been cooped up. And we also case, had like two weeks of lockdown in Victoria. Remember to round the number to the nearest penny, which is always two digits to the right of the decimal. 0.61666 rounded off to the nearest penny is 62 cents. <laughs> so each of your friends gets 62 cents back and change, but one of you only gets 61 cents. Remember, 0.61666 isn't quite equal to 62 cents and you can't divide up a one cent difference but what about <laughs> you can get a pair of like the wire cutters oh no wire cutters what am i thinking of, of dollars people Tins talk about in the nfl just so i can cut it in half for that just take a look at the players salaries <laughs> most of them are in the millions of dollars why is this Let's in japanese made two million two hundred thousand eight hundred dollars one year how does that nee. divide up e? well we could ask how much did he earn per hour? Uh, uh, if he worked a total of yeah, 1,600 hours I think that's that year, key. divide his salary key. by yeah, his no, hours, that'd be key. and that player made $1,375.50 per hour. Why is it in Japanese, though? Now that's oh, they're getting paid by 
Why would they be getting paid by a Japanese team though? Like, yeah. <laughs> Japanese don't care about the NFL, they like baseball. Um, I'll look at one more of these and then we'll get into the game. Hang on. Um, order of operations. No, that's just... Yeah. Yeah, must... Oh god, Al algebra's gonna inequality. filter me. That's just a fancy way of comparing things. Words like greater than, <laughs> less than, than any line. or equal to are key. Why you gotta be... Let's look at yeah, fuck algebra. Why you gotta put letters into All numbers? Regulation NFL Why can't you just go fuck yourself? Equal in size. The size of the players, however, is a different story. Each position requires different strengths. <laughs> Wide receivers need to run faster than field goal kickers, while linebackers need to weigh more than defensive backs. Hmm. In football, players are constantly thinking about numbers of yards. To compare numbers, there are special signs we can use. Not every football the player is thinking sign. about math, though. And the greater than, a lot of them less think than about, sign. You know, drugs and sex. The equal sign means the two numbers have the same value. How many steroids can I take before another. my balls start to shrink? 10 is equal to 10. When the numbers aren't equal, we can use this arrow like symbol. The arrow always points toward the smaller number to show that it's ah, less like than I the other. Oh, like I was saying number. the other day, that's not so how I remember it. Says, it was, I was always taught the crocodile eats the bigger number. The arrow always opens toward the larger number to show that it's greater than the other number. So this sentence also says, 25 is greater than 10. Think of the arrow like the mouth of a hungry football player. Oh, there we go. No, there the we player's go. appetite oh, is big. That's big. a hungry football so player, he's apparently. Want to eat the bigger oh, number. that's that's terrifying. That's a little creepy. Now you try. Let's compare how two quarterbacks played in the first half of a game. One passed for 210 yards, while the other passed for 198 yards. How could we show the comparison? That's right. Fill it in with an arrow like this. Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Got it? Now you're ready to make as many football comparisons as you can think of. Ah, there you go. All right, now that's, that's cool that they actually went to the, took the time to actually explain most of these. Um, yeah, back to the menu, please. We don't play a game. And this is all set up. All right. Um, actually, no, what are they saying about Pro Packs? NFL Math is designed to be updated quickly and easily. You can update your game with a CD, disc, or direct internet download without having to buy and reinstall on your game. They're actually featuring, like, DLC, like, not full expansion packs. Pro Packs are sets of a thousand NFL math questions, 250 for each game level, with each question set focused entirely on a single NFL team. Your favorite team is the Bears, choose the Bears Pro Pack. Um, just click Pro Pack button in the game control screen, list of available questions. I guess you've got to like, there'd be like installers that put it in the folder for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you can up, also update with the latest official stats, players, and teams. Um, pull this number to get Pro Packs. Or visit us online at aha.com. Um, no, I don't want to hear about the the European band. Uh -huh. Right, uh, let's uh, let's get it. NFL in. teams destiny. Okay, so they changed the way up. Tonight's right. NFL math showdown. So we got Baltimore Ravens. Um, we gotta pick. Uh, what do we want? Cause we who did we do last time? We had. Oh yeah, there's the two different um thing. I uh leagues. I guess you'd say call them. So we did, yeah, Minnesota before. Let's go. I, uh, I've been watching Treme off stream, so I might go Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, no, let's 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 do it like a David Simon thing. Let's go Baltimore versus um, New Orleans. Um, oh, hang on, select that. Yep, yeah. and then visitor is uh, New Orleans. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm betting on the Wire being a better show than Treme. Let's go that way. Right, Tonight, done. here at Memorial Stadium, it's yeah. lunch time. Look at that clash. As the Baltimore Ravens take on the <laughs> Look at that crowd. Music. That flat texture of a crowd. All the toss, All right. Heads or tail. Um, I'm gonna get drained. Yeah, the crowd's kind of draining things out, aren't they? Oh, we got a calculator. That was for uh, pro plays. We're gonna get power up mini games. Yeah, right. Eh? Um, so cool heads. What do we get? Home teams off to a good start. 
They won the toss and will decide whether to kick or receive. Yeah, I think I might receive. Right, so what do we got? Longest punt returns around the longest punt to the nearest 10. Um, 30? Yeah. Okay, so rounding. Yeah, we get these animations again. Get someone! Kick it! <laughs> oh, oh, the helmet came off on that one. Excellent running by the Raven for a return of 24. The Raven get a... will take over. First Are they actually down. mentioning players this time around? Nine yard line. 24 yard kickoff return by Ray Etheridge. Alright. Oh, right. Doing the huddle again. Um so same thing again, we get various chances on the plays, I guess. Um yeah, let's go for a run this time instead of a pass. See how we go. Uh how many sacks did Jim playing it? Alright, I gotta check the hopefully the play cards work properly this time. Um so can I just search Jim Flanagan? Jim Flanagan, defense. Oh, these are coming up this time. Okay. How many sacks? So he had five. All right. We're putting five. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. The um, because we had issues with the last game, like the um, numbers weren't just flat out not showing up. No gain on the play. That brings up second and ten. Oh, I didn't get any gain though. He got wiped out. That sucks. All right. Try this again. Uh, we go past the sun. Yeah, just play action. Let's see, here we go. Kevin Turner and Ernest Burner have the same size water bottle. Kevin Turner's water bottle is more water in it than Ernest Burner's. These two factions represent how full each bottle is. Click on Kevin Turner's water bottle. Um, same size water bottle. Kevin Turner's got more water. Uh, so what's the bigger? Yeah, that's tricky. I think it's three to eleven. Yeah, okay, I got it right. Yeah, two to nine seemed like the smaller fraction still. Oh my, the Raven, quarterback. Vinny Testaverde. Is that <laughs> Vinny from Vinesauce's real name? Was he was he part of the Baltimore Ravens? And drove up from like Staten Island? I <laughs> just I love that animation though. That's as me as uh, like a linebacker or something. Alright, no, it'd be like defensive linesman or something, I guess. Uh, long bomb. Uh, long bomb seems to be the winner, doesn't it? Let's do that. Oh, we gotta do the pair up, so, okay. Last season, the Broncos offense gained an average of 5.3 yards per play. The Cardinals gained an average of 4.9 yards per play. Which team had the better average? Uh, Broncos. Uh, let's say the Broncos from Denver. I think so. We have, no, I, I got mixed up because there um there is an Australian rugby team from Brisbane called the Brisbane Broncos. No, it's kind of getting mixed up. Right. So can we do a pair up? Here we go. Uh, so we're defensive. Let's go passing. What do we have to do? Uh, move the thing. Throw the ball. All right. Same mini games as the last one, and still just as janky. All right. So we get some passes in. Um, Ah, uh, you can hit him with the ball? Okay, no, that's good to know. Yeah, let's murder this kid with the ball. Miss the kid, miss the pass. Alright. Uh, down again. Oh, no, he caught that one. Alright. Oh, can we get the security guard? <laughs> oh, I got a ball inside me. Uh, alright. Oh, no, that's affecting our thing. Oh, no, miss pass. Oh, there's a uh, team uh, thing I own up. Oh, we can smash. Yeah, we gotta smash out balls, don't we? There we go. Got like seven balls left. Um, get a pass. No, do the pass. Does that affect our. No, we just gotta complete passes. Instead of not completing them. Hang on, can we. Oh, I'm trying to hit the lady. Yeah. That actually. I remember playing a few mini games like um, that Joe Cartoon did in the 90s. It's kind of what that reminds me of. Um, how passes are doing as well. Punt, fake punt. Yeah, let's try fake punt. See if that works. All right. Um, 96. Oh, it's like a logic one. Steve Nick may weighs the most. Uh, so he's okay. Cordell Stewart weighs more than Terrell Buckley. 
Um, but Steve McNair's here. Um, so it's Terrell Buckley, Cordell Stewart, Steve McNair. Is that all right? Yeah, okay, I got that one right. No, that's cool, yeah, like you don't see logic in math puzzles very often, do you? <laughs> don't talk about my mom. That's cool. That'll move the Raven forward 15 yards. Certainly is unnecessary reference. It's a penalty. So we already get on that 15 yards. We're definitely pushing up. Doing pretty well. Pushing them back. Yeah, like that's the whole thing. You don't. Now we're not doing. But it's supposed to be defending. Um, he be drops back as if to pass and hands the ball to a backfield runner. Yeah, let's try. We already did. Uh, I'm guessing we're gonna mix these up. Now this one's got the best chance, so you know. Steve Lee. Steve Lee had 82 more rushing yards than Cliff Gross and Keith Byers and 79 fewer rushing yards than Steve Lee. What would be the difference in rushing yards between Gross and Byers? Uh, 82 takes 79 is three. There we go. The Raven, oh. quarterback recovers his own fumble for a loss of one. That brings up second and 11. We goofed that one? We lost the yard? Okay. Oh no, that was that was on um thing I New Orleans the thing I do. Uh, all right. Yeah. This is just good coughing us though. Um, uh, punt's not gonna work. Yeah, we'll try play action again. Uh, thermometers show average NFL season temperatures for Jack Kent Cook Stadium, Qualcomm Stadium, and Oakland's Coliseum. Qualcomm Stadium is the warmest in Jack Kent. Cook Station is the coolest. Cook on the thermometer for Qualcomm Station. Um, Qualcomm is the warmest. That's the warmest. Yeah, okay. I don't forget we get timeouts. We can pause and like research, I guess. Oh, we got. That's a clear run. Nice. Go, Baltimore. Hooray. Baltimore Ravens. Shit, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, go Vinny Testaverde. Nice. <laughs> Alright. So we got some fucking... We got a touchdown. That's pretty good. Oh, we can do a conversion. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go two point. Uh, I, I, yeah, no, we'll go two point. Try and pass it in. Defensive back Mike Logan's birthday, September 15th, 1974. Um, oh, oh, and yeah, I can't get this mix up, so it'll be 09 15 74. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I forget about We actually have the, the day first rather than the month. I think we're off European convention. We got that, we got that conversion. Is complete. And fucking dude, Vinny Testaverde is dominating. Oh, he's just wrecked Michael Jackson. Nice. Cool, alright, we got a kickoff. Uh, if Ray Zellers averaged four yards per carry last season, how would he probably gain on 18 carries? Um, average four yards per carry. So it's 18 times four. Do we get the calculator? Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, so we go 18. Oh, and it pauses the, um, the time for us. Okay. 18 times four, 72. Use this number. This is the one you want. Okay. Um, so 72. All right. That's correct. Leash. Get a block. Get a block. First down. New Orleans. High booming kick by the Raven leaves the Saints with four field position. Okay. We reckon the Saints. They're certainly not marching in. All right. Uh, yeah, we're on defense this time. Yeah, nickel defense. Line defense, goal line defense, punt return, or the blitz. Let's go blitz. See if we can sneak in another touchdown. What's the difference in the team's final scores? Um, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, okay. Is it... Oh, no, the time is not paused this time. Okay. So what do we want? Um, New, in... no, New England got 21. Green Bay got... Uh, what's that? 27... Um, 
27, 35, so 35 minus uh, 21, 14, okay, that is correct, oh, it gets rid of the calculator for you, that's helpful, that's cool, but this is really, yeah, like, I, I'm still standing by how well to put together these games are. And how much, how impressed I am with it, considering, like I said, never watched an NFL game, never played NFL before. Just still legit impressed, but God, we've, we're pushing them back hard. Uh, yeah, we'll go make a defense for this one. Doug Evidence, oh yeah, what's greater? Number of interceptions. Okay. Grabbing the face mask. Yeah, that's a big penalty in NFL, I guess, grabbing a face mask. That's fair enough, because, yeah, like, as soon as you grab that, you've got, like, full control. Dangerous, too, because that would potentially snap someone's neck if you went the wrong way. Okay. Um, just keep doing defense, I guess. Oh, can we... Hang on. Um, let's do another pair up. Let's see how run defense. Oh, nice, it's this one. Um, so get the gas, don't get the speed bumps. All the barrels. Shit. Um, oh my god. It's actually... No, there's like a weird um, delay. Like an accelerated delay on your um, steering, which is weird. It's not a good thing. Oh, the big boy. Big boy's coming through again. And the thumbtacks, yeah. Just, oh, no, we're out. That's some pretty good, yeah. Oh, and it changes. Okay, so you've got to pick which one you want and then do your pair-ups. Right, right. right. Okay. The nickel defense. Uh, Jim Harbaugh, oh, okay. Top passes. Um, Jim Harbaugh threw more yards than Brad Johnson. Ty Detmer threw more yards than Jim Harbaugh. Um... So, by that logic, Ty Detmer threw the most. Um, and we're going by yards, so he'd be at the bottom, and then Red... Uh, what's the next one? Uh, Jim Harbour threw more. The so Ty Detmer would be the highest. Brad Johnson would be last and then Jim Harbour. I think that's how it goes. So oh, well, tied up uh, yeah, Brad Johnson tied up is that right? Yeah. Alright, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. I know math and logic. I still gotta do I I've actually never played a zoom the Zumbinis game. That's gotten popular with like the millennial crowd. Like, you can get it on your phone now, I think. And I think it's, it's going to be incompatible. Look on the quarterback who had the fewest passes intercepted, so Kent Graham. There we go. I wonder if I can get that, make that into an emote, the wide receiver little picture. Maybe if I actually get followers and get, like, more emotes and shit. Might be on the cards. Oh, yeah, there's some drive. Hang on. We just... Another touchdown. touchdown. We're Baltimore fucking. Raven. This is only the first quarter too. We are wrecking them. Okay, now I can actually like sit back on my laurels and it's, it's not even for, first quarter is not even done. That's pretty cool. That's um, I, I must admit, yeah, like I've got the difficulty turned down. But anyway, um, let's go another conversion. Two pointer. Uh, stadium with the highest ticket price would be what? Hong Kong. Oh, and they have parking prices as well. Right, so we should have should get this one. Oh, we fumbled. Shit. The Raven falls incomplete. Yeah, so we didn't make that one. Oh, they actually call them tries in um an American thing. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, for the Amer Americans watching this, rugby is different. Um, you can't. Yeah, you have to do a field goal. Uh, to get a converted point, but um, it's worth two, po two points instead of one. Um, last season, the 49ers offense gained an average of 5.3 yards per day. The Panthers 
gained an average of 4.7 yards per play we do have the better average uh, 49ers I forgot about that too I was looking like um, I was talking to Funk on Discord about um, like football and stuff and he mentioned AFL and I showed him the picture of um, the Penrith Panthers they're sponsored by uh, Oak which is a flavoured milk company um, so you'd have like the flavoured milk jersey uh they couldn't do white because north queensland cowboys already has them um brand just doesn't look right for a rugby team so they went pink the penrith pants panthers have pink jerseys it's yeah it's a little bit funny i'm sure they're not impressed with it either oh he actually got a fair way i guess What's the yard game on that? That was a gain of 19 yards. 19 yards, and shit. We'll take over. First okay. From the oh, hang on, no, it's a turnover, though. Are we just, we're just wrecking it. No, we're still on defense. Okay, it's uh, still got, uh, control the ball. Um, go zone defense. Because I've seen that as well, um, I've, I didn't realize that was a thing, um, uh, the Mega CD's got a game called Mike Dicker's um, Quarterback Attack, and it's it's pretty much this. You're just doing the plays and watching the result as like little FMVs. Uh, it's got a bit more to it than I thought it would. Um, youngest player, uh, 63, 67, 72. Terrell Davis is the youngest. And he's a running back. What was that? Running back, quarterback, defensive something? No, my. I'm, in, I'm honestly learning more about football than, um, than Fingo for this, aren't I? Right, um, no, all that line. Yeah, I can, like, dawdle, because I'm, like, 16 points up and i got two minutes left on the fucking first quarter. Let's, let, yeah, let's, let's fuck one of these up, shall we? Let's try a punt return and see what happens. Uh, last season, Doug Bryan scored 81 points through field goals and extra points. His extra points total 18. If a field goal is worth three points, clicked on the points Bryan scored through field goals. Um, 81 points through field goals and extra points. Um, so all together, that's... So it would be 81 minus 18 times 3, I guess? Let's try that. 81 minus 18... Uh, times three. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Field goals worth three points. Click on the points Brian scored through field goals. Okay, so I did that wrong. Hang on. Um, so, what was it? 81 minus 18. I'm actually just trying to run out the clock at this stage. So it's just 63? Is that... I think that's right. Yeah, I got that right. Okay. All right. Now we got the interception, so we got the ball again. We'll take over. All right. I don't think we're going to get a touchdown in the next minute, but strange things have happened. Um. Yep. So we'll do a huddle. Um. Can you just? Yeah, let's try a fake field goal. See what we do with that. Um. Ran the Patriots' percentage to the nearest hole number. Um. Seventy-seven. Yep. Okay. It's cool that there's different animations for each play as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, end of the quarter anyway. Oh yeah, uh, player stats. Oh, this is our stats for what we got right, what we got wrong. And it's showing, no, that's pretty cool. And it's actually showing you the related uh, maths things. Yeah, righto. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, lots of algebra questions. In that one is that equations, functions. Um, no, nah, done with the report. All right, so we swap sides. I guess you swap sides every time for um for quarters in that effect. All right, play flicker. Uh, no, we've we've got the ball, so we want to keep it. Let's try a sweep. 
This last season, the Cardinals, Larry Centers scored 54 points on touchdowns. If a touchdown is worth six points, how many touchdowns did the center score? Um, so that'd be what, 54 divide six? No, I went time six for some reason. Um, 54 divide six, nine. Okay. Nine touchdowns. Not doing the fake run. Looks like we made some distance though. Keep it on the oh ground. yeah, 12 right yard yeah, run. Ernest Barner. And it, so I've noticed that, yeah, I didn't, because this wasn't in the uh, NFL reading one, but it's giving us questions about the team members for Baltimore. Okay, that's cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, all right. Play action pass. That always seems to be the winner, isn't it? Last season, the Buccaneers, Mike Alstott Al scored 36 points on touchdowns. Oh, same, same question again. So, uh, oh, I know. It's six divided six. That's six. I don't need a calculator for that one. Because I remember that in school. Like, you get math tests and they'd say, you're not allowed to use calculators. you got to do it, write it all out on paper. And then, yeah, that... That that threw a, that filtered a lot of kids in my school, for sure. Right, so what are we doing? Uh, Thirty minutes to go. Um, I might, yeah, I'll push. Try and try and gain some ground. Now I'll try for, for a field goal. Because we got we got this in the bag. Like if defense is just answering math math questions, I'm, I'm pretty well sorted. Needs a strength forward, aren't they? Wait, I'm going to marry you. now. The receiver beat the defender on the play for a pickup of 12. Yeah, if I can mini smash him again. Nice. Alright. Um, so we're pretty close to the end zone. Let's, let's go a field goal. Oh, it, okay, a field goal's worth three points in NFL. It's only one in rugby. Um, and yeah, AFL is a whole different kettle of fish. I don't really know much about it though. Uh, the temperature synergy field in Cincinnati averages 50, Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the synergy field one. Yeah. No, that's uh, I, I know point scoring for AFL. I don't know like the other rules, like marking. I sort of know. I know there was issue. Apparently, you can't have if you go up for a specky, you can't put hands on the back of someone's shoulders something like that I don't know that was years ago yeah like I said have not I did see apparently the former owner of the Sydney Swans died recently like the other day uh last season the New York Jets won one game and lost 15 games Tennessee Oilers won eight games and lost eight games would the Jets be more or less likely to win a game against the Oilers um less likely because they no, hang on, New York Jets is 1-15, to 8-8, eight to eight, so I'd say more likely. No, incorrect. Okay. You goof this one. Hmm. Uh, that was the other thing, yeah, the, the coach of Collingwood, Nathan Buckley's uh, stepping down as well. That was the other sport, uh, AFL related news I saw. Okay, huddle again. It's probably fair, because I think the... The losing streak for Collingwood in AFL's like up to a hundred games now, all over a hundred games. It's a fair, it's a fair cut. Um, it's like how we kept, we started losing in the cricket because we made Ricky Ponting the captain. Um, haven't even watched cricket for a while either. If tight end Roderick Lewis's play covered one fifth of the thirty yards the Oilers needed for a first down, how many yards did he cover? One fifth of thirty. Um, so that would be what, 30 divide 5? Get one fifth? Six? Let's try six. Like, yeah, got it. Yeah. Ooh, unnecessary roughness again. Is this. <laughs> <laughs> is that the action for unnecessary like reference? Like, is it Cobra firing his psycho gun? <laughs> I sorry, I keep mentioning Space Adventure Cobra. It's coming up. Um, 
we're actually it's probably the next game we're gonna play um how are we doing on time by the way two two hours and ten all right yeah it'll be the last game for today's stream don't know how long it'll take to get through it but we'll see how we go uh last season the seattle offense rushed for 16 touchdowns and passed for 14 touchdowns the special team scored three additional touchdowns how many touchdowns did the seahawks score all together uh, rush for 16, pass for 14, so 16 plus 14, it's 30, first team scored three additional touchdowns, um, so 30 plus 3, 33? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. This is, this is a wide receiver right here, by the way. Look at this big belly. What a big belly, boy. Intercepted by the Raven. Oh, shit. First and ten from the safe. 25-yard line. Yeah. And we saw... Did, oh, no, we got the field goal. That's right. That's right. Did we... Uh, why is the point thing going up? It looked like we only got one point. Because what have we had so far? Two touchdowns for six points. Two conversions for four points. Shit, I can't even remember how, how many points is a touchdown. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I might see what happens if you run out the clock, whether you, if you don't make a play. Whether that's just a straight handover or not. But yeah, no, my maths is... Do we actually get... Hang on, what's the coach say? Oh no, that's back to here. No, we don't need that. Back to game. Don't need teams, so many players. Oh, that's just stats. So, uh, yeah, that used to just give you the report on... Hang on! <laughs> It's it's reset the timer for the play, but not the clock timer. Okay, that's a bit weird. Maybe they're trying to figure out that there's like anti-cheat systems in here somewhere. I'm not sure. But... Mm. Yeah, I'm just waiting for this clock to run out. It's only a five hour penalty for running out the clock. Okay. That's cool though, yeah. Like they usually have rules in place for most sports games in regards to like drawing out the clock. And so many people still do it. It's still a thing. Uh, Napoleon Kaufman and Carl Gardner have the same size water. Oh yeah. Um, Napoleon's water bottle is more water out than Gardner's. Um, how full it is. Yeah, five eights. Definitely bigger. Definitely a bigger ratio. I'm trying to remember how you do that in terms of math. Like, you can, um, I remember you could knock down the fractions to something manageable. Because yeah. five eights would be, yeah, two and a bit quarters if you divide it. Let's see how I sort of figure it out. Now let's, uh, yeah, let's try for another touchdown. So I just want to see how many points we get without a conversion. No, that's right, yeah, because we didn't convert the second, um, second touchdown either. Football field is 100 yards long if the 18 penalties in one game and each penalty was 10 yards. How long would the penalty yardage be compared to the football field? Um, longer, I'm presuming. 18 times 10 is 180, say longer. Yeah, that is correct. Oh, my neck! Oh, my neck! The quarterback on the play. Thank you, pass. Finny's smashing it again. Yeah, right, eh? Um, fake field goal. No, we want to we wanna push in. Um, yeah, let's go draw play. We might get a bit, of a, a bit more of a yard game if we get this. Last season, the Baltimore offense pushed 10, rushed for 10 touchdowns and passed for 34. Special teams scored one additional touchdown. How many touchdowns did the Ravens score altogether? Um, so 10 plus 34, 44, 45. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. 
Okay. That one's straightforward. Offside, number 93, That'll move the Raven. Okay, we'll push back five yards on the penalty. Yeah, okay. Pushing a little bit closer. Um, now we go to on the huddle, don't we? Um, yeah, I don't want to do a field goal. Like, we're, we, we'll definitely get the field goal if we get the question right. Try another run. That quarterback sinks out no way. Let's try a draw play. See if we can draw him out of the end zone. How many rushing yards did Vicky Waters... Oh, yeah, we got to check the play thing. Um, so here we are for Ricky Waters. Rushing yards. Um, yeah, Ricky Waters running back. How many did he get last season? Um, I guess that's... No, what's... I think that's right. One for... One for one one. Yeah, that was correct. So that was running yards. Because they just had yards and yards. I wasn't sure which one was which. The Raven are stopped after. Oh, he only gained one yard. That brings up. Guess you earn this minor. Yeah, right. Uh, so yeah, we got four minutes on the clock. We got plenty of time, plenty of plays. Um, sorry, plenty of um, thing. I, whatever these are fucking called. Um. Yeah, let's try it. Let's change it up. Let's do a let's do a ball. Um, yeah, maybe a long ball. That might work. Uh, running, rushing back, Rashan Salam rushed for three touchdowns last season. Uh, how many points did Salam score while rushing? Uh, Eighteen. Okay. Uh, let's push him back five yards there. That'll move the Raven. Forward half the distance to the goal line, <laughs> and they'll read the Yep, wear your mask. Don't get the coof. Um, yep, yeah, they're nearly back in the end zone. Uh, don't we get points for pushing them right back, too? Uh, no, we'll do another run. Let's go. Well, I think we did a sweep. Let's try a draw play. Uh, quarterback John Freeze needs 12 yards for the first down. He drops back to pass and is sacked for a 19 yard loss. How many yards does Freeze need for a first down now? Um, so 12 plus 19 is. What's that? 29? No, 31? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's have to think about that one for a second. No, nope, push back again. Number 94. Five yard That'll move the Raven forward half the distance to the goal line. And they'll replay the down. Okay. Pretty well lost. Oh no, that was penalty. No, no, they were like right in the end zone now. Let's can we smash them? Hang on. Oh, can we go back and actually get a no, let's let's go running power and boost up the power of the run. So we gotta do this mini game again. Give me uh yeah, get the gas. Look out for the ball, wide receiver. I can't remember what happens if you hit a speed bump. Does it just... Oh no, it actually full-blown knocks you out. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Another, another quarterback. Oh, another defensive player. What got me? Whoa! Uh, I guess... Okay, so you just use the ramps to get you over uh, speed bumps. Right away. I was sort of hoping for a yard game, but... No, we smashed it, though. Like, fucking 23 seconds left. Oh, no, there we go. 55 yard gain. That'll bump up that. Oh, it actually stayed up this time. Okay. Um, so let's see. Yeah, much better chance on uh, on a run this time. Let's do a draw play. Uh, New Orleans Saints drove down the field to score two minutes, 10 seconds. How many seconds did it take the Saints to score? Um, 130. There we go. How are you? We've lost three yards. Yeah, I'm just wondering about that. Like, I'm interested to know how it kind of calculates all this sort of stuff. Um, we've got a screen pass on this one. Because we're getting questions right, but I don't know if that's adding or taking away to the chances. 
Uh, if the pamphlet's locker room was 56 feet long, 53 feet wide, and the Oilers' locker room was 50 feet long and 49 feet wide, which team would have the bigger locker room? Um, I should I have to do like, okay, so 56 times 53 is 2968. Um, 50 by, hang on, 50 by 49. 2458, so Panthers' locker room's bigger. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, surface area, that was a new question. Yeah, there we go. Right before the end of the second quarter as well. Excellent. Oh my, what a catch for the score. Touchdown! Fucking Vinny smashing it again. Just the bad day. Nice, uh, yeah, so we can just... Okay, so that was 18 plus 25. That's... Um... There's seven points for a touchdown? Oh, it might be, it might be situational as well. It might, oh yeah, we get the conversion. We got a two point again. Um, stadium with the lowest ticket price. Um, Georgia Dome. Alright. We got a conversion. Yeah, we got it. Get some, get some show button in there. Is complete. So yeah, the Saints are getting fucking smashed, aren't they? All right, and end of quarter. It's another sellout crowd oh, no. tonight <laughs> with paid attendance of sixty-five thousand. Shit. Okay. Hang on, do we? Oh no, they're not doing the halftime game anymore. No, that sucks. That was a weird little mini game in that last one, anyway. Um. Oh, and in the oh, we haven't done a play yet, so the time the clock stopped. Yeah, that's different. Man, like, the amount of detail in this, like, on an educational standpoint and an NFL standpoint, it's just, I'm, I'm blown away by this. I really am. Um, last season, the Seahawks' Todd Peterson scored 84 points on field goals. Field goals were three points. How many field goals did Peterson score? Uh, so 84 divided by three. 28. Oh, and you can just click that to say use this number. I thought it was being patronizing and telling you where the answer comes up on the calculator. Fair enough. First down. Alright, so we're defending again. Alright. Uh, so what are we doing? Defense? Yeah, no, I want to actually goof one and see, um, see what happens. Just pick a, like a low chance one, see how much of a yard gain they get. 96 offensive linemen round Adam Meadows jersey on to the nearest 10. 70. Yeah. Okay, oh, it's showing you an actual example as well. Yeah, like I never had a problem with rounding down for that. The and he, the line he got right, I'm gonna have to watch no that one back. Second down, 10. Shit, that was that actually worked too. No game on the play. Um, yeah, let's try. Yeah, let's blitz him. Let's go straight to the quarterback. Do and smash his head in. Uh, click on the player who scored one more touchdown than Terrell Davis. Um, that'd be Curtis Martin. And graphs I used to smash in maths as well. Just very good. I'm very good with like visual information normally. That's a oh, that's a hell of a run. Forty-eight yard gain. Shit. Enough for a first down. Wow. Yeah, we got pushed right fucking back, didn't we? Maybe there's like um, AI or something in there. Because yeah, I don't know what's determining. Yeah, what works and what doesn't. Kenny Holmes is shorter than Paul Grasmanis, but shorter than Joe Phillips. Um, so Joe Phillips is highest at 6'5". Kenny Holmes is next at... Oh, I got that around the wrong way. Can I... No, I can fix that. Okay. Paul Grasmanis at 6'3". Kenny Holmes at 6'4". Back in 6'5", though. That's a big boy. They're all taller than I am. I'm only 6'2". No, sorry, I was 6'3", and my, I had a car accident, my spine compressed, so now I'm 6'2". I'm also old, that is a factor as well. Oh, um, oh we got possession though, okay. Um, 
Yeah, just screen pass. I'm kind of dawdling at the moment. Brett Favre had the most attempts. Trent Dil Dilfer. <laughs> it's Trent and Dilf. Is he a dad we like a fuck? And was, what would he uh, stand for? Um, no idea. Uh, Trent Dilf had more attempts than Jim Everett. Okay. Um, so attempts. Uh, so Brett Favre had the most attempts. Trent Dilfer had more than Jim Everett. Um, the Trent Dilfer. <laughs> Dilfer though, what a name. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of having issues hearing shit over the mini music. Like, can I turn that off in game? Um, and no, going back to the main menu wouldn't save this either, so I won't worry about that. Let's deal with the mini. Usually an issue. That guy eating the hot dog guy is kind of amazing. Um, not getting a field goal from here. We'll try to run this time. Yeah, let's do a draw play. Change it up a little bit. Uh, ran Michael Jackson's receiving yards to the nearest hundred. Um, 1200. Yeah, easy. Run. Yeah, like really I should be showing off because there's obviously a different video for each play so I should be showing off like each play shouldn't I All right, we'll do a huddle well, let's fuck it up let's try for a field goal from here see how we go um, if a square fence was built around Carol Carolina's Carolina's Ericsson Stadium and each side measured 17 yards how many yards of fence would be needed oh this is um thing I um circumference what's the what's the circumference if it's not a circle um shit i shouldn't know that um oh it's just 17 squared all right um 17 by 17 oh no that's no that's that's volume that's not that's area sorry not what's around um so it's 17 times four isn't it for the four parts of the square. 68, that sounds more, more correct. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, now remind me what that entails, coach, when we're... Yeah, no, no way we're getting this field goal from like 63 yards. No fucking way. Um, distance and length, maybe? No, perimeter, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, and it's showing you what the question was related to. That's helpful. The football playing Might field check this is a one. rectangle. It is 140 oh, yards long, including the end zones, and 53 and one-third yards wide. That means the distance around the edge of the field, the perimeter, is 120 plus 53 and one-third. Yeah, and I play golf and every now and then. I still can't remember what the deal is with yards. I think it's and one -third yards. yards, it's close to a foot. Field, like, there's usually, I think it's three yards and a meter. And two -thirds yards. Or, like, a not shortcut quite for three yards. Is to use the formula two times that's the same the feet as well. Plus two like, times the width. Yeah. Now, no the idea. area of a football field is something different. It would now, be I can't believe I forgot about the actual name for perimeter. So the area of a football field is 6,400 square yards. Area is found by multiplying the length oh, and by you the width. Get the formula. That's helpful. So let's say a classroom is 30 feet long and 30 feet wide. The area of the classroom then is 100 oh, okay. square yards. So there's 10 yards in 30 feet. So divide feet. the area okay. of the football field by the area of the classroom. So that and it doesn't seem like right either, because like classrooms would fit into a football 30 field. feet is roughly 10 meters, the so 10 of the yards is roughly is the 50 yard line. 10 meters? Each that doesn't team seem right. One half of the field from the middle I'm to just, the back of the I'm end actually going to check that quickly. Yards away. Um, so to find the perimeter each team is protecting, take 2 times the length, 60 yards times 2, plus 2 times the width. Oh no, that's fair. Right. So it's 0. 0.1944 yards in a meter. That's not quite a meter, it's close to To find the defending quite. team's okay. area, multiply the length. Yeah, well that's good to know. I'm, I'm learning. I, I can't believe I'm learning in this shit. To get 3, learning about, yards. you know, and more, more NFL than math, but still a little bit of math. Uh, that's pretty cool. 
Alright, so how we doing? Uh, we're on defense, obviously, because we, yeah, weren't going to make a field goal. Um, don't need goal line defense because we're not in the goal line. Um, yeah, let's blitz them. No, let's, uh, I can't remember what was involved in. Let's try zone line defense. Sorry, goal line defense just to see the animation. It's obviously going to fuck up because we're not in the goal line, but we'll give it a try. How many more times did Garrison Hurst carry the ball in Larry's centers? Uh, how many more times than Garrison Hurst? Um, so, what's that? 225 minus 16? Um, try that. 109. Oh, I get. How many more times? Carries 225, carries. Oh, no, I give that. Yeah, 100, 100 point difference in that. No, I didn't even look at. No, can we repeat the play? Oh, what do we try for? Goal line defense? No, they just pushed straight through, didn't they? Oh, my back! Uh, right. So that was. That <laughs> worth a hot dog, though, dude. It just makes me want to smash a hot dog, if anything. Because I remember, yeah, no, the Devolver Digital um, thing I showcased had lots of chili dogs for some reason. Um, yeah, I'll go. I, I just want to, like, murder their quarterback. Why not? Uh, a Seahawks running back rushed for 65 yards in his first game of the season, 35 yards in his second game, and 48 yards in his third game. What is the total yardage for those three games? Um, so that's, what, 65 plus 48 uh, plus... 65? No, no, I fucking wasn't reading that right. 65 plus 35 plus 48. The 148. Okay. And that's sort of teaching you correct, like, calculator application, I guess. And oh, now we went over the sideline. Intercepted by oh, the Ravens. interception, They'll huh? Take over. First and ten from the twelve-yard line. Yeah, okay. All right, so we're on attack from the goal line. Yeah, right back at the goal line, though. So we've got to, to be a little bit careful. Yeah, play action seems to do the, do the job. Uh, if a line of nine footballs placed end van measures three yards. How many footballs would have to be placed end end to make 72 yards? Um, so there's two equations in this. So it's 9 times 3 is 21. The 72 divided 21. Is that right? I'm probably going to get. Um, I know it's telling me, asking me how many footballs. So I've got to do. Uh, was it 72 divide. Uh, 21 and then ran it down so it's no that doesn't seem right either um, that would only make it like three footballs um, yeah okay no I'm doing the equation wrong okay so how would I do this uh, oh no if a line of nine footballs measured three yards okay so so we go 72 divide 3, that's 24, and then we divide that by 9. No, that doesn't seem right either. Um, okay, no, I'm having a tricky time with this one. I actually want to answer this question, because it's, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, thingo. A little bit confusing. Uh, how many footballs have you placed in and to make 72 yards? Um, so nine footballs for three yards. Um, just trying to work it out in my head. Um, let's go 72 divide three. 24. Okay, okay, yeah. So if it... 72 minus 3, divide 3 yards, and then times that by 9? I'll try that. Equals... Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that was correct. Okay. Yeah. Because that would have taken me a while to actually sit there and work it out on paper. No, I probably would have done better on paper. Incomplete pass. 
Yeah. Because I'll be able to draw it. No, I can't. That brings up. Yeah, just have it right in my head to say, yeah, nine footballs equals three yards. And that sort of shit. Hmm. Okay. Bong bong, flea flicker. Um. Yeah, let's try for a fake punt. See what that entails. Because I haven't seen the animation for that yet. Uh, in 1996, the Atlanta Falcons, Michael Haynes scored 24 points, all on touchdowns. The touchdown was worth six points. How many touchdowns did Haynes score? Uh, so that's 24 divided six, which would be four. Okay. That wasn't a fake punt. Made a great catch. Or a gain of at least eight. made eight that yards. That's, that's good. Okay. Um, right, trying this again. Good high forward pass. Bench score a touchdown will gain a lot of yards. Yeah, I do, do we have a longer? No, we did a fake punt. As a, even though we didn't punt the ball in the animation. Maybe try a draw play and see if we can gain some yards on this one. Uh, stadium for Wales ticket price. Um, yeah, giant stadium. Cool. Fucking parking's a bit ridiculous at the Metrodome though. Jesus. 12 bucks uh 90s money. Wow. Nice scramble. Good for 14 yards. Oh yeah, 14 yards. Yeah. I know we're gonna do another pair up, so we want can we boost running power as our last pair up? Let's try it. Oh no, we're doing this minigame again. I probably should have picked the blocking one to see what the uh, minigame was, but we're running out of uh, pair ups. Oh well. This one's so fun. And I remember this was specifically the one that crashed um, on the NFL rating game. And the fucking... Oh, I should get hit by the steamroller. I'll try it if I if it comes up again. Oh, uh, yeah. Missed out. Um, yeah, it kind of doesn't rip. Avoid the thumbtacks. Avoid the wall slip. Oh, no, oh, okay, that's not an outright crash. That's good. Yep, avoid the brick wall. Come on, give me steamroller again. We only got 18 seconds. I <laughs> just love the turkey leg in the wide receiver's hand. That's hilarious. Uh, rock, yeah. And it seems hard to, like, hit something intentionally other than the quarterbacks. Is, uh, not the quarterback, defense as well. Uh, we have definitely gained. We gained, like, 89 yards, though. Um, yeah, and the stats have jumped for like uh, thing. Let's try a reverse. See how that goes. Right, youngest player. Um, fourth or fourteenth. Um, youngest player. Yeah, so September. Darren Bennett. No shit. Ben Humphreys. Um, fourteenth. Is... Oh no. Hang on. Oh no, that's ninth of the first, so he was born in January, that guy was born in April. <laughs> Is that...? No, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Look at that defensive line. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're on the defense, because we can fucking goof for that. Yeah, I've been... In... Now maybe, uh, don't have to do goal line defense. He'll just do his own defense, that'll do. Terry McDaniel's jersey number is 36, this is a prime number. Um, false, because you can't divide it by one or itself. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's right, I remember a prime. Uh, yeah, check on the coach again. Hang on, um, primes. Prime. Each position in football is assigned a range of numbers that those players can wear on their uniform. Centers and linebackers can wear numbers between 50 and 59. Oh, okay. No, Let's this, say a I didn't center know this chose the number 53, and a linebacker chose the number 56. Because we were talking about the prime that on Discord as well, like, the um, composite number. why well, AFL players don't have the names on the jerseys numbers, anymore. We need to understand factors. Now, the factors of any number are numbers that divide exactly into it. Like the number 6, for example. It can be divided by 2, 3, 6, or one. Oh, that's a factor. Yeah, this can also be shown as that two maths. times three or three times two equals six, and one times six or six times one equals six. 
So 2, 3, 6, and 1 are all factors of 6. A prime yeah. number only has two factors, itself and 1, <laughs> like the number 7. Nothing else can be divided exactly into the number 7 except 7 or 1. 2, 5, and 3 are other yeah, examples of prime really numbers. That's actually a really good explanation for it as well. A composite number, on the other hand, is any number that has more than two factors, like the number six. Yeah, right. Okay. The number one, however, is special. The it is neither prime nor composite. There are fewer prime numbers than composite numbers. Look at the numbers between one and fifty. Prime numbers are scattered compared to the many composite numbers. Hmm. So who is wearing the prime number? The center, number 53, or the linebacker, so. number 56. The number 53 only has two factors that can be divided into it exactly, hmm. 1 and 53. So it's the center who is wearing the prime number. 56, on the other hand, can be divided exactly by many numbers, like 2 and 28, 4 and 14, and 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. So the linebacker is wearing the composite number. Now you're ready to check out some NFL players' uniform numbers. Go to the player cards and find out who is wearing a prime and who is wearing a composite number. Oh, yeah. Get a little extra reading in there. Nice. Okay. Um, what are we doing? we got to run out this quarter, don't we? We've still got one left after this one. Uh, in a game against the Tennessee Oilers, the Washington Redskins had their ball, ball in their possession one quarter of the time. Which, what fraction represents the Oilers' time of possession? Um, three quarters? That sounds right. Ball start before the snap. Number 77, oh. offense. Still second down. Flag on the play sets the Saints back five yards. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm actually going to just check if the Washington Redskins had to change their name recently. Um, all right, give me the give me the wiki. Washington football team, professional American football team, formerly the Washington Redskins. Um, yeah, so I guess Red Redskins. But yeah, it's for Native Americans, so it's a racist term these days. Uh, oh, Redskins name and logo controversy. Um, former Redskins banning used from 1933 till 2020 was one of the leading examples of the Native American mascot controversy as the term Redskin is defined as defensive, disparaging, and taboo. Um, yeah, but it, it seriously took them, you know, 90 years to get that changed. Bloody hell. Um, and they put it to an opinion poll as well. Okay. <laughs> the team only is Dan Daniel Snyder. Dan Snyder. Bring all my bitches back. I need all my bitches. I need all my bitches. The ones that you show me is whack. Uh, good old pink guy. Um,. Legal trademark protection. Oh, they took it to court? Hang on, announced editorials would no longer use Redskins. Other news outlets would informally call them by their geographically related area, such as the Washington Pro Football Team, or, or avoid publishing their nickname all yet, altogether. Were they legally required to do that, though? Huh. And they, yeah, they had to update their... Oh, no, they put it to ESPN, and they had to update their own things. And then picked up again because of the George Floyd protests. Yeah. Um, letter signed by 87 shareholders and investors was sent to team and league sponsors, Nike, FedEx, and Pepsi, urging them to cut their ties unless the game was changed, unless the name was changed. Around the same time, several retail companies began removing Redskins merchandise from there. So was that the case? Like, because we have a can, like, I, I think I mentioned it before, we have a candy in Australia called Redskins. It's like a red toffee thing. And we've had to change the name on that. I'm actually going to just check that up too. Um, Redskins. Lollies. Yeah, what's the new name for the Redskins Lollies? Uh, we have changed it to Red Rippers. 
No, that kind of works. That's, uh, that, that's actually not too it, it, it makes more sense from, like, a, a, a lolly standpoint. And I'm talking about candy, not not the Japanese girls. Okay? Just fucking settle down, internet. I'm watching you. Um, right. Zone defense, nickel defense, splits. So they, yeah, are they going to get a new nickname? Or are they just always going to refer to them as... The Washington football team because that seems lazy that's just, that seems like to be like at least come up with a new nickname for them like that just seems to be PC gone mad just calling them the Washington State um, Oakland Raiders 1129 Atlanta Falcons 1314 uh, Atlanta Falcons is the bigger number <laughs> I fucking ran out the third quarter though right. <laughs> The bucket collapsed around the same quarterback. Sacked by Earl Burnett. For... That brings up third and oh, 21. five yard loss. Okay, so we're pushing and end of quarter anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm just feeling like, yeah, 27 points up. Can we push her in the last quarter to like wreck him? Absolutely flat line there. Yeah, I, yeah, let's see if we can wreck him. Uh, last season, the Raiders, Ricky Dudley scored 24 points on touch chances. If touch chances were six points. How many touchdowns did Dudley score? He scored four. Yes. First down, Baltimore. Quarterback hung the ball up there and is picked off by the Raven. Oh, do you already got an insert? Alright. Nice. Yeah, yeah, good cheer from the crowd there. Alright, so we're on um we're back on the attack. All right, so let's do some passes. Let's gain some ground. We can at least like smash in a field goal, I reckon. Um, yeah, we'll go passes for now, gain some ground, then go for runs, then go for a field goal. Um, highest percentage pass completion percentage. Who's got the highest? Uh, Fifty-eight point eight with the Ravens. It's, yeah, this <laughs> you can tell from just this game. Uh, Baltimore Ravens are just smashing. Yeah. The running back made a great catch for a game. Oh, yeah, pass. Fucking Vinny smashing it again. Good stuff, Vinny. Go. Alright. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, it's screen pass. Have a look. Let's get some game. Last year at Rich Stadium, parking cost $7 and the program cost $3. If a fan paid for both with a $50 bill, how much change would be returned? So, 7 plus 3 is 10. Take that off. 50 is 40. He got forty dollars back, and that's all going to food, I imagine. He's just getting like a giant like nacho cheese platter, just smashing that nacho cheese. Screen pass to the tight end for a game. Eight yards. First down again. All right. Um. Oh, draw play's got some good chances because we got the running bonus as well. All right. Let's go for a run. How many pounds do these linemen weigh all together? Three or three? Okay, get the calculator. Um, can we do it with a keypad? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, so 303 plus 280 plus 287. 870. Use this number. Mash it. Alright. The Raven turned the corner. Good for seven yards. That brings up second and we only got a seven yard game. Uh, it's, not, it's not too bad for one one down. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep changing up. Because if we can go run, we can go a full blown run and gain like either a lot of lot of yards or even a full blown blown touchdown. Hopefully, a Dolphins fan brought eleven sodas for two twenty five each at the Cardinals game. How much did the fan spend on sodas? Too much, clearly. Who the fuck needs eleven sodas, by the way? Um, what's times on the keypad? The fucking asterisk, isn't it? Asterisk. Um, 2.25, 2475. Um, yeah, there we go. Now click that. There you go. Give him the brooch. Yeah, like every single one of these, like, um, the Raven. The stadium light things would be fantastic for emotes. And they get the first down. First down. Alright, huddle. Um, yeah, we'll go back to passes. We just gotta get some more ground. Just keep pushing them back. 
At halftime, 500 entertainers are on the field, 17% are dancers, 28% are band members, 55% are mascots. Click on the decimal fraction that best represents the group of dancers. Um, so if I remember correctly, if you go <coughs> uh, percentage, so it's 500 times um, 0.17. No, that's the other way. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so that tells me how many of the 500 were dancers. Um, yeah, I might prefer to the coach for this one if we can. Can we go to the coach? Percents. Did you know that percent means out of 100 in the Latin language? It certainly does. Keep that in mind. Percent is all about hundreds. Now, when two players work together to sack a quarterback, each player hey, gets half the credit for the sack. One half can also be shown as a percent. Look at this square. It's divided into 100 squares. Look at this square. If half of the squares are filled Look in, up again. that's 50 out man. of 100. Now back to me. So one half equals 50%. What if a player could get one quarter credit? Oh, are you going to actually show me the math? Let's look so at it another way. Work it out as a decimal? As a decimal, this is written as 25 hundredths, which also oh, means no, so I had a, no, I could have just, it's now, so it was point. let's say the Buccaneers had a win-loss record eight, of 75 hundredths No, that's not the percentage, the that would make it 85%. This is written as 75 one hundredths, or 75%. And it means that the Buccaneers won 75% of their playoff games. Oh, no, I've overthinked Another way it. Another uh, yeah, it I is it. to imagine um, that if the Buccaneers had 100 just playoff be, games, like, hang on. Yeah, they would so win that should 75 be Right, seventeen percent. Yeah, it's represented as point set one seven percent. Oh, point one seven in decimal. Yeah, sorry, I was overthinking that. Yeah, all right. It sounds like a good game. The receiver beat the safety on the play for a gain of fifteen. Fifteen yards is pretty good. Back to first down as well. Um, we got a sweep. Just keep pushing in, we're doing well. And yeah, same same thing again. This small fraction that best represents a group of dancers, so point to uh oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, sort of a big run. Yeah, seven yard run. Alright, we'll go back to passing. Just keep going on that ground. Um what, what are our chances? And we're out of power up, so we can't do the mini game. This is a play pass. Uh, if tight end Andrew Glover's play covered half of the six yards the Vikings needed for a first down, how many yards is play cover? Uh, three. There we go. It's weird too, I seem to remember more about math stuff than reading stuff. Yeah, that's a touchdown. Sorry, I was busy with the I saw the cat move. I'm like, what's the cat up to? Yep, Vinny again. Vinny smashed it. I know, we're, like, we yeah, we're obviously in, in for a win. Um, yeah, okay. Now let's check the um, see what the video is for the one point conversion. What's the difference between two players' longest punts? Uh, Seventy-two take sixty-three. I'm being lazy now. Should be able to work this out in my head. There we go. Go for the punt. Straight through. Yeah. I remember there was a, I can't remember what that was from. There was a running goat, the guy did the touchdown, realized he had sweaty armpits and then like cover it over. Yeah. Uh, defensive tackle Dan Wilkinson's long in, longest interception return was seven yards. This is a prime number. This is three. We learned that in the uh, the coaching section. What was he meant to be eating? That, that cut off at a weird moment. New Orleans. On the return, that was a pickup of 27 yards. And the Saints will start first and 10 from the 34 yard line. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we got him back a little bit. Um, yeah, so shit chances on that. Now we'll, we'll wreck the quarterback again. We'll smash him. Uh, if the New Orleans Saints held the ball for two sevenths of their game against the Arizona Cardinals, which team held the ball longer? Um, 
Arizona, I guess. They would have had five cents of the game, of the possession. Oh, that's the first offside penalty we got this game. Okay. Flag on the play, set the same. Back five yards. Sure. Pushing them back already. Uh, yeah, it was zone defense. Right, how many sacks did Brian Cox have last season? Uh, so it's a player team. No, we don't want teams. Because I don't know what team um, Brian Cox is in, so we've got players. Um, oh, we can check it. Hey, Kareem Abdul Jabbar was in play football. He's a running back for LA. Um, I'm actually going to look that up too. Um, who, who do you play for? Dolphins? Um, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Dolphins. Uh, American football player. Okay, no, there was a Kareem Algebra or Abdul Kareem Algebra. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah, like obviously much younger than the basketball player Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Fair enough. Um, okay, so we're looking up Brian Cox, aren't we? Um, we just Brian Cox. Uh, how many sacks did he have? He had three sacks. Three sacks. Or if you're from New Zealand, three lots of sacks. Or maybe three sixes. Pick up the block! Pick up the block! Ooh! Interception. Yeah, nice. An interception. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's. Like I said, let's just keep smashing. We've got five minutes left on the clock. Um, yeah, same again, passes, runs when we get closer, then go for another. Oh, there's a question about Dan Marino, okay. Um, completed 221 passes through 152 incomplete passes. Um, so 221 plus 152. Yeah, I legit only know Dan Marino from um, the Ace Ventura, the first movie. Like, I think that was actually like my first foray into American football. And also the running back people. for a gain of nine yards. Second down, one to go. Yeah, that's why that boy you got mad. He found Captain Winky. <laughs> um, all right. All right, at halftime on television, a sportscaster talked about the game for 3 minutes and 37 seconds. The next TV sportscaster talked for 23 seconds longer than the first one. How many seconds did the second sportscaster talk? So, uh, 3 minutes is 180, so 180 plus 37, then plus 23, 240 seconds, that sounds right. Yeah. Cool. Hey, he keeps saying eat my and then it gets cut off. Uh, he's either saying eat my dust or eat my ass. Yeah, there we go. 33 yard game. That is a good, that is a good run. But we'll just keep smashing runs now. Uh, I'll go to role play. Uh, Rand William Roberts jersey number to the nearest 10. Uh, so that's 7. Okay. Yeah, I like that you can use the uh, keypad as well. It's the easiest way to do maths. Like, that's how I used to do numbers and shit no in, like, uh, call center work. Oh, no not going on that one, though. Okay. Uh, we'll do a pass, then another run. We'll go for a sweep next time. Uh, Jeff Blake had the most attempts. Steve Bonner had more attempts than Frank Reich. Uh, more attempts. So Jeff Blake is the most at 549. Yep. Steve Bono had more attempts. Uh, so then Frank Reich, Steve Bono. Bono, Bono, no idea. And good run, but intercepted. Nine yard pass, great. Okay. Uh, two minutes left on the clock. Can we get another touchdown before the end of the game? Let's find out. Uh, how many incomplete passes did Steve Young throw? Uh, incomplete passes, so 316 take 214, is that right? Minus two and four, one oh two. That is correct. On the bomb. 
Another touchdown. I probably should put the um, bat level up a bit more. Because we did, we dominated. 40 nil. The Saints are just going, fuck. Man. Alright, can we give, can we get, at least give them a chance? Oh no, we'll do a, we'll do a field goal first. Uh, number of fair catches to the nearest 10. Uh, you're supposed to round up on a 5, aren't you? Let's make it 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point after try, splits the upright. Does that seem to be standard man? Yeah, D and D was like that for the rounding. It always round up on a five. <clears throat> okay, if eleven NFL players each six feet tall lie down head to toe in a straight line, this is starting to sound like a gangbang porno. Uh, is there a line shorter, longer, or the same length in a line thirty-eight feet long? Uh, so eleven times six is sixty-six. Uh, so definitely longer than thirty-eight feet. For sure. Alright. Have a boot. I gotta pick that one off! You're mine. Oh! You can't stop me. Oh! Holy shit! They received and managed to get a fucking touchdown. That's crazy. Hey, smash us. Okay, we're still not gonna win any of the game, guys. Uh, that is surprising though, they get a touchdown in the last two minutes. Uh, Defo need goal line defense for this one. We might not do as well because yeah, like the blocking powers. Oh, the stats actually go down as the game progresses so, to show like fatigue on the players. That's that's crazy. That's cool. All right, um, last year at the RCA Dome, soda cost two twenty five and hot dog cost two dollars. So fan paid for both with the twenty dollar bill. How much change would it get? So. Uh, 20 minus 4.25, not 200. 20 minus 4.2, hang up. 25, 15.75, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Point after attempt is no good. Yep. All right, they didn't get the conversion, thankfully. They were going for a two point, weren't they? All right. Back to it again. If running back Emmett Smith rushed for 12 yards in the first quarter, 21 yards in the second quarter, 27 yards in the third quarter, and 22 yards in the fourth quarter, how many yards did he rush? Um, so 12 plus 21 plus 27 plus 22 is this number. This is correct. So we're receiving it. Can we get another? Come on, come on, run through. No, nah, we got it done. Oh, no, no. Do we. We just came back and they got another touchdown on him from like the starting kick. That's crazy. <laughs> just got back at him for their touchdown. Oh my god. And 10 seconds left too. Can we go a two pointer? Just smash in, boys. Let's push it up to fucking 49. Um, yeah, easy question too. Ran numbers to the nearest 10. Alright. Jackpot, baby. Another two points. But 49 to 6. That's crazy. And Raven smashed it. Well done, Baltimore. Oh, you get little fireworks as well. Nice. Oh, and the blink goes. Yeah, that's right. I remember the blink from the halftime game. God damn, that was fun. I gotta admit, that was, that was great. And we legit got like. Oh no, we did get a couple of questions wrong. Probably the statistics because I wasn't paying attention. But how cool was that? That was just, that was good fun. I, I have to admit, that was really good fun. Like, I will probably, like, bump up the difficulty and play that in my spare time off stream. Like, that was good, that was good fun. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals.